Good morning, crafty friends. It's Diane with Bean Street Paper, and I'm here with the first 10 Minute Tuesday in a while. Uh, I apologize, we went on vacation, uh, and now we're back. And man, is it hot in North Carolina. So I think the heat has kind of taken my creativity away, but we are gonna make this fun Christmas card because you know that's right around the corner. Um, I left this one pretty simple. Let's jump right in. Uh, you could embellish this with rhinestones or I think a little holly leaf right here would be good, but I didn't have any, so I didn't do it yet. But let's get into making this card. I am going to tell you what the measurements are, however, no fear, I am also going to post it below. So, without further ado, you are going to need the following things. A card base. I always do A2, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. Uh, some card stock and pattern papers. I tried to pick ones that coordinated. Um, I did have this paper I got in like a, a mystery pack. Um, and I loved it, but I just didn't know what to do with it because it was just so different, I guess. Uh, but I finally figured it out. So here we go. Okay. So here's my card base. My first uh, piece is going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then my pattern paper is going to be four by five and a half. And I'm just going to put these guys together. Let me move that out of the way. Oop. Oop. Going to center that on my mat and press it down. Now, I'm going to take my second piece of paper, cardstock. Uh, that's going to go in the middle, and that's going to be three and a quarter by four and a half. And I am literally just going to place that in the middle of my first mat. Just like that. Okay? Now, I have two coordinating pieces of paper, and I'm going to be honest with y'all. Most of this came out of my scrap bin. So this is a great way to use up scraps. I was missing that piece. I was like, oh no, I only have one. Okay, so the larger portion is gonna be uh, four and three eighths by two and three eighths. And you just kinda wanna lay them out so that you can see where they need to go um, and get them straight. Okay, and my little strip at the bottom is going to be four and three eighths by three quarters of an inch. Okay, so here we go. Let's put these guys on there. Y'all, I really need to clean my desk. The struggle is absolutely real. <laughs> absolutely real. Oh, ooh, no, it's stuck. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Okay, so, before I really press that down, I want to make sure I have enough room for my, yes I do. Okay. Now, you can use any sentiment that you like with this. Um, I chose... It's the most wonderful time of the year. Now, I like the Santa. That's why I wanted to use that one. I think I'm going to put this one on this side so you can see the Santa. I used Wrapped in Christmas from Stampin' Up. Um, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. I didn't want to just put this on here. Um, actually, know what we're going to do first is we're going to put this on our base. I didn't want to just put it on there without... Uh-oh. We're just running into all kinds of problems. Let's get a wet glue. <laughs> I'm 
use my uh, Barely Art glue. Not too much of it. And then center that on my mat. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what I did was I used this punch, and you guys have seen me use this before. This is really one of my favorite punches. It fits a ton of sentiments. Um, but it's an old EK Success punch, and I, I stamped my sentiment and punched it out, and then I was like, wow, I really need something behind that. So what I did was stamp my, or punch my sentiment again in uh, cardstock, and then I just cut it in half. And what I'm gonna do with that is just, um, exactly that so that it has kind of a a, a mat um, so let's do that quick the hardest part of this is making sure that you have an even amount of mat on each side for me anyway okay and then you put one at the top and one at the bottom Make sure you got that centered and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna put like I said put this one on the left side instead of the right side like this card I'm just gonna use my barely art glue okay uh, and I normally would shim this up a little bit, but since I am only letting it hang off just a, a teeny tiny bit, um, I am going to just leave it like that. And I'm just going to lay that on there real quick. So there you have it. Again, um, I would put rhinestones on here or little holly leaves or maybe a little poinsettia it would have to be a super tiny one um i guess i need to make a trip trip to the craft store and see what i can find to embellish these but that's today's 10 minute tuesday card i hope you all enjoyed this video uh i'm a little rusty on the videoing so please bear with me if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more 10 Minute Tuesdays and technique videos, and I will see you on the next go-round. Stay crafty, my friends. Have a great day.